Tonight, what we're announcing is something we can call the flux jet. working on ultra high speed transportation, but what the world hasn't seen so far at all is what we've been really working on behind the scenes and what we've been developing. So this is what it looks like. The flux jet is different from an aircraft and it's different from a train. It's a whole new type of vehicle, a new category. And this is a vehicle to carry passengers between cities at over 1,000 kilometers per hour and uh, cargo and freight. But it operates slightly like a train, and it's built like an aircraft. And so here is the, the basic idea. And this is what we call a flexjet line. Traveling along this line will be a little bit like going in a subway or a high-speed train, but much faster. And I'll talk about the construction plan of that later. But OK, wait. Why is it called a flexjet? Well, we're bringing together three innovations. These are major innovations. We're actually bringing together three different kinds of flux. The first here is called valence flux. That's to safely guide this vehicle at high speed. The second is magnetic flux, and that's actually to levitate the flux jet and push it forward. Now, the third flux in the blue is electric flux, and that's to get power onto the vehicle. All three of those types of flux are with no contact, kind of like this, because friction is the enemy of speed. So those three things, electric flux, magnetic, and valence flux, working together, and that is a first. Electric, magnetic, valence, EMV. The world's first EMV flux jet. Ladies and gentlemen, a baby flux jet. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now, what is this? This is about a quarter scale model of the full flux jet. Uh, it's an amazing piece of technology, just this one. It actually has eight engines on it, so four on the top, four on the bottom. And so you see one of them here, one of them here. And so the four on the top are for guidance and uh, levitation. The four on the bottom are for propulsion. And so it pushes it along and making that wave motion. Um, and so all of those engines you see are extending out, so they're robotically kept in place like that, and they're held in place like, kind of like this, and they're all interacting with the, the guideway, and that keeps the vehicle so that it can actually be controlled, it can actually roll and bank into a curve, like when you're flying on a jet. I can now announce that that transportation line in Alberta is going to be a Fluxjet line. <laughs> the, 
the first phase is construction of just a short section, so a 15-kilometer section uh, to connect at the Edmonton Airport. So that's an, an airport connection. But it's also a test facility where regulators are coming from uh, different directions, Europe and elsewhere, for the regulation of this uh, system. And so the final phase of that in Alberta is the construction of the full line, the full 300 kilometers between Edmonton and Calgary and stops along the way. <laughs>